hello 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 this is frida welcome to my channel i hope everyone's doing well for this tutorial uh which i have designed i'm going to show you how to start up top down cardigan it's open and um you can see the increases well these aren't increases actually I've been increasing leaves here and here, as you can see, to give this uh, increase because it's a top down. So this is just the border that I have made and uh, it divides the body parts. So, uh, and there's four increases, two on the front and two on the back. So the, here is the sleeves. So what you need to do is you need to measure something that you all you really like working uh, wearing and uh, this yarn is super thin so what I did is I I been crocheting making it two two strands of this yarn that I bought from Iplik outlet in from Turkey Eskişehir hello Medabalar <laughs> they're watching I don't know so uh, what I've been doing is I am crocheting with uh, two strands to give this uh, thickness because it's pretty thin otherwise. See how thin it is? So you need, you need a yarn that you feel comfortable crocheting with, working with. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this yarn, which I bought it from here in Canada, Kelowna. Uh, I purchased it from her. And uh, I already made the, the diamond top-down cardigan crocheted, so you can check that one as well. Um, so I'm going to be using this yarn, and uh, it's 100% cotton, mercerized cotton. Okay, so let's get started. So I would uh, highly recommend you to find something for the neck area to measure it that you feel comfortable wearing. And uh, so uh, that's all you need to do. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, you're going to be using the Elasticity uh, Chainless Foundation Chain which I did a tutorial and I always show at the beginning of the video. So I will do that one as well. Okay, On this one, uh, check the label on the back of the label. It should tell you what kind of crochet hook you need to use, but it's showing you needles. So um, I'm going to be using the four millimeter crochet hook to start up come on focus i hate it when it doesn't focus because it's trying to focus on the background okay i need to buy a new camera <laughs> that focuses and uh, doesn't show blurry yeah i get that comment a lot and um yeah well i i'm sorry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the yarn from the inside and i'm going to do the elasticity elect I really have a hard time pronouncing that word today. So I'll be right back. I just need to pull the yarn from the inside because uh, it's easy for me to work with. Okay, so I am going to start with three chain. One, two, three. Yarn over and come to the first chain and then pull it out one pull out two and then pull out three okay again yarn over come where we where we pulled it out at one so grab that two loops and then pull one we come in we come to the pull one right there and we grab that, that from those two v's pull two pull two so we continue until the length that we need and uh, I really like this method. It's it stretches. That's what we're looking for, right? So we don't want it in tight. So this is how it looks like. See, it it is stretch. 
it does stretch out because using a cotton yarn cotton does not stretch it does not give that elect la I can't, I can't say that word for today for some reason i don't know i'm so sorry <laughs> elasticity <laughs> i oh i slept a nice eight seven hours seven eight hours so uh i don't know maybe that's the reason i can't pronounce some of the words it happens we're all human being right so i will see you until the length that you need and we're going to start the stitch. The stitch, I already have a tutorial, so I will link it at the end of the video somewhere here. And then you can click it and you can look at the stitch. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, just want to point out, because this yarn is thicker than this yarn, so uh, just be cautious when you're measuring because it won't be the same the numbers will not be the same because uh, due to the gauge this again this yarn is thicker than this even I did two ply so meanwhile while you're crocheting I would highly recommend you to divide the numbers that you need okay the what the what I mean is on that one I did 10 double crochets on this one I'm just gonna do four just do four on the border and uh so it will give you the same thickness and i don't on this one that this was my uh design right so i this is the first piece that i worked so uh you can play around with it so i'm going to be counting so i uh, count one two three four and i'm gonna put my marker here okay just like that and then see on that one i have total of three three leaves so I'm going to divide that one as well. To do that, what you can do is, I believe uh, there is about five, I'm just counting one, two, three, four, four, uh, between four. But because this yarn being thick, I'm going, I'm not going to do four space between. I'm just going to do two, just like that. So you can play around with it when you're, creating your own design so for this uh, design that's what i'm going to do so i have a total of three leaves so i'm going to count two uh double crochets between and then this one would be one leaf okay and then what you do is you do two space and one leaf two space and one leaf and then two space and what I do is here, I do the increase, which would be two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. And then I continue. And when I do uh, the sleeve area, there's only one leaf. So to do that, again, I'm going to skip two double crochet, two double crochet right here, one, two, and then I'm going to put the leaf on the third. So one, two space, and then this would be the increase. Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. It's not much, but uh, believe me, it will. Okay. And then, so I do, uh, I already divided the body part. So this would be the front. This would be the front. I know it looks so tiny, but it's not. It won't be. Trust me, it won't be see and then what you do is uh you do uh this would be the sleeve area and now we're going to be working on the back just like that okay i'll be right back okay so i have crocheted a little bit more just to show you how it looks like see uh, I'm just setting it up, but I can change this. The numbers, I can play around with it. Okay, so uh, here I did four leaves, so I'm going to continue dividing that part as well. And then at the end, I can still make some changes, so nothing to worry about. So what we did is we skipped two, and on the third, we made a leaf. Let's say that way. Focus. Okay. So 
one, two. On the third, we made our second leave. Oh, let's start all over again. So one, two, three, first leave. One, two, three, second leave. One, two, three, third leave. One, two, three, fourth leave. And I gave four uh, stitch, uh, four double crochet space. And then here is my increase. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So this is the back. When I hold it like this, so this would be the half of this. See? I think it's too small when you look at it. See? When you put it this way, let's say this is the half. So what I do is I put this in the middle. See? You can see how small it is. So I don't like that. So I'm going to change and uh, play around with the numbers. To do that, what you do is you continue dividing the body parts up till. Uh, so we did the back. Now we're going to do the sleeve area. The sleeve area is only one leave. So I, I put one, two, three, four, five stitches. Five uh, double crochets. Keeps on focusing on the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. I divide that. Okay, so I did the sleeve area and the front is total when you count it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen sixteen double crochet so i count and i grab my uh, last marker Sixteen, so I count ten, right here, sixteen. Okay, see how small this is? I don't like that. Actually, for a baby or for a child, it would be nice, <laughs> but for an adult, it's too small. Can you see? So you that's how you measure it, and then uh, that's how you divide the body parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue crocheting. Uh, see, what I'll do is I'll measure it from here. Well, this is half, so I need to crochet that much more. Let's Put this accurately it keeps on because I'm too far and I can't uh, here we go see what I mean when I measure it like this it's exactly the half so I need to crochet that much more and then I will work on the stitches see how it looks so uh, that's another way you can play around with it, but you need to measure the around the neck area and then work from there. You can, uh, for this, this would be perfect for a child. I don't know, just measure around the baby's or child's neck, and then you can go from there. So this is how you can set up for, uh, for a child. You can play around with it, but for an adult, we need to follow this rule. Okay, I'll be right back. I will continue crocheting more. Okay, so I have crocheted. I am going to crochet this a little bit smaller uh, than uh, what I have done on the mustard. So this is how I am, I am trying to plan. Okay, and this is the, the, the middle where I have already divided. So this is extra. So now we're going to be counting. Remember I said 16, 16. So I am going to count a total of 16 double crochets. Okay, from here. So it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10. 12, 14, and then 16. Okay, keeps on focusing on the background. Okay, I'm going to move that a little bit later, but I just need it because I'm measuring. Okay, so, and then we said five, I believe. So I'm going to play around with this. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to st start crocheting but to do that first I need to know how many I need right so uh, there, there was two space between so I, I'm going to be moving that to maybe three to three maybe even four spaces between to make that work for me okay so I'm going to chain three first I want to do my double crochets and uh, going to do four double crochets okay so one two three to go up and then right here at the beginning this is the first row that I'm going to do uh, or else I usually jump here to make my uh, double crochet so I'm going to make a total of four double crochet Okay, just like this um, this number four is a little bit loose for me and I'm going to grab my three and a half because the three is a little bit tight um, three and a half yeah you need to find the perfect crochet hook that works for you so where is my three and a half here it is because four is too big yeah. <clears throat> okay so i am going to chain there's six chain between so i did my four one two three four five six and then instead of jumping four i'm going to jump three okay so one two three one two so it would be on the fourth i'm going to make my uh five double crochet so i am starting the stitch already so again i jumped three I, there's three uh, double crochets between three four five okay again chain six three four five six okay so i am going to count one at a time so I'm going to be adding one, two, three, four extra double crochets. So I'm going to move my double crochet. So where are we? So four right here. I'm going, this is going to be my increase. Okay, so I'm going to play around like this. I can play around. I can skip four even just to get the right numbers okay for the sleeve area for the sleeve area i'm gonna grab another marker which i need something different okay so the sleeve area was five stitches five but we're going to be jumping four uh uh hmm to do that what we're going to do is so one two five six seven i need to jump seven because uh, i'm uh, doing the extra instead of two i'm going to be jumping th three so one two three four five six seven right here okay so we already divided this body parts So the back, how many was the back? I forgot. So I'm just going to recount. To recount. Uh, so there was three. So one. Two, three. Yeah, I forgot this one, these one, the ones in the middle. So we, we need to count those as well. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, I forgot to count those. Oh, geez. So there's supposed to be one, two. One. Let me just recount these. I only counted these three, but there's uh, these as well in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, five, and then six, seven spaces. 
Oops, seven times three is 21. Okay, so I have divided the body parts. I'll just give you a number. So this is how I did. I did the front 24, double crochet is 24 on both sides. The sleeves is 8, the sleeves is 8, and the back is 32. But there are some extra stitches. I forgot to count. I count them, but I forgot. I didn't write it down. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... 14, 16, 17 stitches extra, 17 double crochets extra. So to fit, I'm going to be squeezing them between. So what I'll do is I play, I, you play around with the numbers. This is how you design <laughs> uh, something that you want to work with. Okay, so 17 extras I'm going to be squeezing. I'm just going to add those 17 uh, double crochets extra just to in between. So what I would do is the sleeve area is a little bit too small when you look at it. So what I'll do is I'll just add, I don't know, maybe a 5-5. Five, five. So I would add plus 5 here and plus 5 here and it would be 13. Okay. 13 total so I got rid of 10 so I have seven left so seven so what I'll do is I will add I don't know uh, two from the front two two so that would be four and the remaining three to the back so I can do that as well to do that as well and then add the extra three here and I will use up all those stitches See, this is how you, you can design something that will fit you. Okay, so I'm going to continue. What, what did I say? Two at the two for the front, right? I said two for the front. I can move this now because I'm done with it. I'm, I'm done measuring it. Okay, and my yarn is all over the place. Okay, so I'm just going to continue setting up the stitch. So I said two, two for the front. So what I'll do is I will skip four instead of three. See, so I use up one, just like this. Two. three, four, and then five. And then again, I chain six between, six. And what I do is I jump on the fifth, I will make my double crochet. I'm going to chain six again. So I'm going to go back and then skip three and then jump into that uh, and then make total of five double crochets. This is how you set it up. The, this first row is very important. The rest is like easy as pie. You just continue crocheting the stitch and that's all you are going to be doing. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like this. Okay, so I did my third leave, and this is how it looks like. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to be skipping uh, two, and then I'm going to be making my uh, two double crochet. So this would be the border that we divide the body parts, two chain, two double crochet, two chain, and then two double crochet. Uh, the marker, let's say it, this is the marker, and then I just continue crocheting the stitch. 
So three, four, five, six. Jump here. Okay, and then I look at it. So I'm going to count how many I have done here, and then I'm going to put, put a marker right at the other side, and then go from there. And then this is going to be the um, sleeve. So the sleeve was only one leave. So I'm going to be making five double crochet. Four and then five. And then chaining one, two, three, four, five. And then skipping two. Uh, the reason I'm skipping two is when I am going to do the two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. Let's do it, put it that way. And then I continue three, four, five, six, skip three on the fourth, make a double crochet. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. Um, always when you're finishing the body part, finish it with a leave, then it's easy to do the increases that we're going to be doing the increases with starting with a uh, new leaf. Okay, so uh, I already done the front and the, the sleeve area. Now I'm going to be working on the back, but I need to count my stitches and I'll be right back. Remember for the sleeve area, I said we need to put five stitches, which I didn't. So this is how it looks like so far. So at, be at the beginning, it was eight stitches and I added the five, so 13. We need to uh, play around with it. So what I did is I didn't do anything. So I'm going to show you how to play around with it. So uh, here... I only skip one, two, three. Okay. So I need to skip more because the five stitches, right? So there should be 13. So I'm going to be skipping two, four, five. Well, I can't add the 13. I can't do more than this. So it's going to be 10. Sometimes you need to work with the numbers. So make my five double crochet. So here we are. So I skip five and I'm going to on the six I did. So again, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, and on the six, I'm going to make my double crochet. So how many numbers did I use? Five, five, ten, thirteen. So I, I'm okay. What am I doing? Five, five, ten, eleven. So this would be the twelve. So I'm short with one number. Yeah, I will use that number on the back, which already we added three. So, uh, and this is how, oh, I forgot to do the chain. Don't forget to do the chain. There's six chain between. That would look uh, uh, unusual. One, two, three, four, five, six chain, and then jump here and then make two double crochet. Okay, I'm doing this tutorial with you guys, so I do have error, errors and uh, thinking a lot, trying to put the number on uh, incorrect, correctly to uh, make something decent. So uh, uh, I get a lot of comments. You, you don't know what you're doing. Well, I am creating something, designing something, and it's not easy. Okay, so we were one, one uh, stitch short, right? So what, what, what we did... 10, 5, 5, 10, 11, and then this was 12. So uh, 
and uh, for the back we're going to be doing 32 so one two three four five six i'm going to be jumping one two three four on the fifth i will make my uh five double crochet and then i will continue all the way when i come here i will come back and show you how i did it you just need to use your uh, mind and lots of adding and subtracting to play around to create something that fits you okay on the back i did my four leaves as, as it looks like so they fit perfectly now i'm going to do the sleeve area and that is easy as pie okay so this is how i set it up the numbers uh, I had to play around with it to fit my need so uh, this is how you design and you set up the top down leaf cardigan leaves leaves they're all leaves so uh it's all done and now I'm going to just crochet what I see what I do <laughs> this is all I'm going to do for the the rest until I come to divide the body parts so I'm going to chain three turn my work and then I'm going to make so this three would be considered as uh, one double crochet so I'm not doing it right here because if I do that there then there will be an increase so when you look at it I, four is enough for a border see and I'm going to do picots uh, when I finish the cardigan and always chain six just follow uh, how to crochet the stitch i already had a tutorial done months ago and uh, i just continue crocheting the stitch until i come to do the increase okay and i'll be right back okay so you just continue crocheting it's really fun i really enjoyed crocheting the stitch and i will come back on my part two to show you how to do the increases here when we're doing the decreases on the leaves here so i hope you like this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't be shy to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified happy crocheting everybody have fun